neighbor just threw this out. Look at that nice hover. Hoover. Man. I don't know why you would throw that out. I'm going to test it out, see if it's working. A little switch button up here, working. Suction indicator, whatever that means. Let's see if we still got a belt. Yeah, this will be better than these here. Just gonna put screws in the bottom. Miracle in order to take off. Number six. I wonder if it's just not sucking. So we'll have to try that out. Got some beat up right here. That might be what's causing the extra noise. You might take the file and file that down just a little bit. I'm uh, spinning it the wrong way. Okay, this is the inside. It's just uh, some dust. Same way with this. We'll get this out. Clean this all up. Sure, it'll weigh some of this plastic here. You take this whole thing out. You take this out first, and you take the other roller out, and it all comes off. That's how you take and change the belt. See what else happens. Fun fact, one of my very first YouTube videos on a different channel was actually working on a vacuum cleaner. See how hot that is? I wonder if it's just the belt that's slipping and it's hitting. You can see that it's hitting this bar. Or right, that's the switch that's come up above. I don't know, just wonder if we have a loose belt. Let's, uh, let's just spin this again and then, and uh, if the noise goes away, we're gonna go to Walmart and see if we can find a replacement belt. That right there is kind of suggesting to me that we could have stretched out or worn out belt. You can see how it's got this uh, little thing right there. It, so we're going to get another belt. This belt is, it's like 12.8 times 467 or 457. See, see what this is. Yeah. Let's see what we can find out. We'll get a new belt and put on this. See all kinds of residue here from the belt. Yeah, she just threw this out on the side of the road. Walmart, four dollars and eighty-four cents in the belt. That same jacket for one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, so we got the belt, the same one, sixty-five style or sixty-five belt. Get that at Walmart. Let's do a comparison of this belt versus the old one. Just for sake of it. Yeah. 12.8, 457. Let's do a, a uh, size comparison real quick. First glance, it doesn't really look that abnormally different. It is a little bit longer, the old one. And that might be just enough to call it the slip, you know? One sixteenth of an inch, and it also has this little rough spot here, and it is starting to crack. But for you to take and throw away a hundred and fifty dollar vacuum cleaner just because of five dollar part is kind of absurd to me. 
Like, why would you want to do that? Well, maybe they have the money. I don't know. I'm going to put this back together. And then I'll probably give it away to someone local to me for free. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what I'm putting the screws in. That's all that was wrong with it was just that belt being bad. You know, little, little maintenance here and there. Save yourself a lot of money. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully that helps you. We'll see you next time. So I found it next to this cool pottery. Let's go pay the woman a visit. See if she wants the vacuum back. Yeah, so she totally didn't see me. Did you get yourself a new vacuum already? No. No? Well, that one I fixed for you. You did? Yeah. It was just making a loud noise, right? Yep. Well, the belt was the problem. Well, was let only, me pay you for that then. It was only five bucks. Come on in. <laughs> I got supper started over there, so I can't stay too long. I saw it out there, and I'm like, I wonder if she got it. A new one? Nope. I went to. <laughs> you don't have to pay me. Well, buddy. I've got a 20. Oh, don't worry about it. Trust me. No ticket. <laughs> I hate to see new equipment like this sitting out there. <laughs> well, the thing is, you know where Marvin uh, originally got that? The house up here that was uh, 